And you know, the thought I was having when I was thinking this out, you know, the fact that man is created in the image of God and not woman, um, it made me think of this thing that's going around in the media now of Bruce Jenner. Um, I don't know if you guys know about it, but um, maybe you've seen it on Facebook and things like that. But Bruce Jenner, or now known as um, Caitlyn Jenner, is um, the reason why I was thinking of it is because, you know, man is creating the image of God, but I was thinking, well, maybe Caitlyn Jenner is the only, you know, woman that's created in the image of God because he's, he's really a man. But, but if you don't know the story, Bruce Jenner, um, I, I don't even know who he is. I, I, I hear he's some sports star. Was he, was he like an, an NFL player or something like that? He was like, an, I think he was like an American footballer or something like that. He's a sports star. So he's, he's like the, the manliest of men uh, that you can imagine uh, playing sport. But then what did he do? He went and mutilated himself to, turn him, to make himself look like a woman. And now he wants everyone to call him Caitlyn Jenner. Um, and I just think that's, that's really disgusting. But, you know, even, even though, you know, I, it doesn't matter how much Bruce, how, much, how many surgeries or how much paint or how much Photoshop that Bruce Jenner does to himself, himself, not herself, because it's a man. I will, ne I will never accept Bruce Jenner as a woman because it doesn't matter how, how much surgery you have and how much body modification you have, he will never turn himself from a man into a woman. Yeah, he, now he's just a, a man that looks like a woman. He's not a woman, uh, just a man that looks like a woman. And you know, that's what homosexuals, that's what they try and do. They just want people to accept them. If you think about the whole gay marriage debate, the gay marriage debate right now isn't even about rights because they, have, they can do all the things that married couples do. The only thing that they don't have is legal acceptance. And that's what they're trying to force onto the Australian people is that the Australian government would recognize their perverted relationship as a marriage. But you know what? You can convince 51% of the Australian population that your perverted relationship is marriage, but that's not gonna make me accept that perverted relationship as marriage. So it doesn't matter if you convince 51% of Australians, you're not going to convince me, and I just hope that sticks it to them because, you know, it's kind of like uh, Mordecai not willing to bow. I'm not willing to bow because you can convince everybody that what you have there, that perverted relationship, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it marriage. I'm not going to accept it as marriage. And it's the same with Bruce Jenner. He can call himself Caitlyn. He can put on a pair of breasts and he can, you know, put on a skirt and have all that surgery. But... Bruce Jenner is still a man, even if he changes his name uh, to Caitlyn. You know, it's kind of like, you know, buying a bad car. You know, how many of you have tried to buy a car and then you take it? You know, I did it once. I was trying to buy a, a, a I can't remember what it was, some Nissan car. And it looked great on the outside. Like it was, it was, you know, it looked new and it looked like it'd been taken care of. And then I took it to, to our mechanic and he checked it out, you know, under the bonnet and checked it out underneath and actually looked at the wiring and looked at all the pipes and everything like that. And he said to me, you know, what, Victor, I recommend you not to buy this car because I know this car has been in, in a major accident because he can tell underneath. I don't know what he saw, but he knew that this car had probably been totaled or written off or had been in a huge accident and it had just been made to look nice on the outside. And that reminds me of this situation. You know, you can make a man look like a woman on the outside, but that's not, what, that's not going to change the gender that they were actually uh, born. You know, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you call it. Uh, truth is truth. And it's the same with gay marriage. You know, you can call it marriage. It's not marriage. It's just a perverted relationship of a man and a man or a woman with a woman. Um, and, you know, they might say, oh, that's hate, you know, that's bigotry, that's discrimination. I, I just prefer to call it uh, Bible believing. 